It's been a minute. I haven't streamed properly, I want to say, in two weeks. So I'm a, I'm a smidge out of practice. No, I'm not. It doesn't take me that long to lose my focus. Hi, everyone. I, I want to show you all something. Um, well, first of all, hi. Hello, everyone. Hello, Vea. Hello, uh, person who I'm not going to say the name of because I, I will, um, I will lose my family friendly status if I read your name, but I will, I will call you nut. <laughs> nope. That's not good. Um, I'll call you, I'll call you D's. I don't know. And then I see I've got DJ Diaz in the chat. Hello, everyone. Deets. Deets. Like Lydia Deets from uh, Beetlejuice. That's who I was for Halloween last year. I actually, I need help picking out a Halloween costume for this year because I'm between... Um, okay, so I should explain. I have to have several, okay, I don't have to have, but I'm going to have several Halloween costumes this year. Um, on the 28th of September, I'm going to go see the Rocky Horror, um, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and of course, like, a lot of people dress up for that and have a good time, and it's just very cool. Uh, hold on one second. One of my friends is like, where where are you streaming? Same place I always stream, friend. It's just, it's where I'm at. Oh, there. Hello, Fennec. Fennec is here. Just listening, not really watching. Um. Oh, to which. Okay, I see. Um. The updated Cyberpunk. Uh, Vey is not interested in playing it, but it looks like a lot of people are excited. That does seem interesting. I... I may pick up Cyberpunk. That might be my next big game that I do not this season, but in the next season. Um, and by the next season, I mean in November because October starts tomorrow, which means it's time for spooky, silly, scary streams. And I want to play all kinds of fun stuff. Um, I'm thinking about playing, um, I'm going to revisit The Upturned because I love that game. I'm going to revisit It Steals. I'm going to be so brave about it. Um, Vea hopes to play Starfield eventually. That one also looks interesting. I could probably go for playing some Starfield as well. Um, I'm going to obviously be playing Dead by Daylight. I love Dead by Daylight. Um, I have a game called Babysitter Bloodbath, which is very similar. Um, you know, you're, it's, um, oh, what is it? It's, a uh, Michael Myers simulator, but you're, um, I guess not. You would be playing as, oh, what's Jamie Lee Curtis's character's name in, in Halloween? You're playing as a babysitter trying to protect yourself and the child that you're babysitting. I feel like I can't figure out if my music is like too loud or too quiet. So if anybody would like to let me know where we're at, um, audit auditorily in terms of sound, that would be great. Thank you. Um, what else? I have, um, I possibly want to do some like spooky like makeup videos. Um, I don't know how well that will go because I, I get nervous doing my makeup on stream for everybody, um, to witness, but I'll be so brave about it if need be. Um, what else? Gosh, there's so many things. So, um, definitely the upturned it steals. I may pick up phasmophobia again. I know I haven't played that in a very, very, very long time. And it's because, um, it sounds like you're getting kind of up close and personal with your buddy Mike. My mic is very far from my face. I don't actually, like, 
some people when they talk they've got their microphone like right up on their mouth I don't mine is like a good foot not even a foot it's more than that it's like a good arm's length away like I can reach out and touch the top of my like monitor screen from where I'm sitting um and then my mic is right on like right above my monitor um someday I will show off my little setup it's a very bad setup but it's a setup nonetheless um so let me see I can maybe adjust a few things here and there to just make things a little more a little easier on people's ears or oops I muted myself that was not what I was meaning to do we're figuring it out today actually it just got quieter overall yeah I I'm adjusting things leave me alone like I said I'm out of practice I'm trying to keep certain things at certain levels and you know not not make anybody go deaf with either loud music or loud me me and my voice um watch my dog's gonna come outside and start barking and we'll have a little Gemma jump scare Mm -mm -mm. all right so if anybody else has any like spooky games that are um interesting or you know won't cause physical harm to me and by physical i i mean like i won't be afraid i don't like um i don't like the the reaction of being scared where like my body jolts I don't like doing that um ooh I may try to pick up have you ever tried pl have you ever played buddy simulator 1984 no that sounds I, mm, the the year 1984 um incites uh fear into my body and so I, I usually avoid anything that has to do with 1984. Um, I hated the book. George Orwell is not my favorite author overall. I like Ray Bradbury better, personally. That's that's where I'm at. That might be another thing that I do is maybe I... It's not jump scare heavy, but it's very uh, slow burn and it has nothing to do with the book. That's perfect for me then. Um, I'll give it a look at. That actually sounds pretty good. Um, let me think. I, I'll check that out. I want to perhaps try to pick up Faith, the Unholy Trinity, um, depending on how well I can manage that. There's also a Jackbox game, a Jackbox like party pack game, where you're like a monster trying to date other monsters it's like knockoff monster prom but like not really because it's I think just the dating part um and I do want to play that also uh trivia murder party I love I also love Jackbox Vea I haven't played Jackbox in a very long time so I think I have to do that as well um I may be releasing an exclusive only on my YouTube channel um exclusive thing um Jackbox, playing Jackbox with my friends IRL-ish, maybe, if they are okay with it. Um, I don't know. Because I have some friends who are also streamers or friends that like get involved with other streamers and so they've got that personality that's like hello everyone, here I am. Um, kind of what I try to be like because I'm shy and silly. Official FNAF plush plush show? Oh. Huh. Hello. I I love Five Nights at Freddy's. I I don't I want to play Five Nights at Freddy's. I do. I just know that like the stress of it all would get to me before like actually being scared would get to me. FNAF mentioned I was summoned. Hello, cousin of mine. Everybody, welcome to the stage. My cousin, Anime Lonk. I'm so happy to see you all here. Thank you for thank you for being here, everyone. 
Um, I am going to get started on the Minecraft builds in just a moment. Um, I have been playing modded Minecraft kind of off and on. Um, searching one Steam library for the horror tag is kind of useless because apparently everyone's a comedian. Yeah. I mean, um, The Upturned is a comedy horror game where it's just very silly and goofy. That game doesn't genuinely scare- no, that's not true. Parts of it scare me, but it's overall just like, it's very silly. Um, I really miss that game. I'm excited to play that one again. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. I want to show off my builds. Mm. I'm hydrating. Let's go. Um, so, if we switch over to gameplay, game capture, I never do this ahead of time because I'm silly goofy. Um, I hope you all can see this. It's not coming up. Nope, that's Curse Forge. Okay. Can anybody please tell me if you can see my, my Minecraft game? right now. Can anybody see it? I didn't try this ahead of time and I'm concerned. There is no Minecraft on the screen. We are... Oh boy. Oh, it's that's a very dark screen. No thank you. Um, game capture. Edit. Change. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe, nope, that's not the right one. There is a thing that I have to like specifically put down. Perhaps this one? Oh, ah, I do the things that I have to do to get things to work. How about now? Is there Minecraft on the screen now? I'm so sorry that you all had to see the horrors. Okay, Minecraft. Um, I've been playing, this is the All the Mods 8 pack. I've been playing this one kind of off and on. I have not made a lot of progress to my funny little builds. I got a wild hair to do just like cool Japanese architecture. And so I built this gate and I thought I'm just gonna make a little little thing all around it. Um, I am taking constructive criticism if you would like to tell me that my things look good or bad. Um, just be nice about it because I will cry. Just kidding. You can- I- I'm tough. You can't bully me. I'm- I'm strong. Um, so this is my gate. I- the actual name for these kinds of, uh, gates escapes me, but I know- I know the technical term for them. Um... It didn't take me very long. You can build these not in modded Minecraft, but the mod pack I'm playing has cool, like, cool build things. This is the frog pond. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I like that it's frog shaped. Um, and <laughs> that's about where I'm at, um, is that I like that it's frog shape. Developers of this mod pack were very mean to a trans person on Twitter. Oh boy. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, uh, I will keep that in mind before I go, uh, what's it called? Go promoting them again. Thank you for that information, Vea. Um, I was starting like a little gate here and then I forgot how I was building it. So, um, ahoy. <laughs> I... Oh, you know what? Was I doing, like, the lamp? These things where they're, like, little hanging lamps. Was I doing that? I think that's what I was doing. But I forgot. I need to not... I have this thing where I will um, start a build and then forget... Hello, Isabella. Welcome. Welcome to the stream
Um, sorry, I was checking on something. I'm very easily distracted. Um, yeah, I need to not... I followed you on Twitter. Can you please follow me back? I will... Yes, once I have a moment, I will check my Twitter over and see what I can do. Um, I'm just showing off my frog pond. I think... Hold on. Do I have the daylight cycle off? Uh, game rule. Uh, do daylight cycle true. Because this actually looks kind of cool at night, if I'm remembering it correctly. Ghost live this early. Such a surprise. I know. I'm never live this early. Um, time. Nope. What is it? Yeah. Time uh, set night. Yeah. So I've got like, um, what is this? The frog lights in here. Cause it's a frog pond, frog fountain. It's a fountain. Um, so I've got the frog lights in here and then this is Midori block, which is from the quark pack. Um, let's see. I think it will tell me all of the mods I have. Um, ener uh, energistics too. I don't know any of these big words. I'm so sorry. Um, I know apotheosis, if that counts for anything. Also, some of my things do have, um, what's it called? They will have missing textures. So I've tried to fix it. It doesn't want to. So I'm a bit, uh, what's it called? I'm a bit, uh, at my, not at my wits end. That's kind of a mean way of saying it, but I'm like, I've tried my best. I love this. I like any pack that adds like more food and like cool things to, uh, the game. Quark is a stellar mod. It really is. Um, in my multiplayer world that I have with this mod pack with some friends, um, I run the local, uh, like tavern. Okay. So it's technically, it's Phoenix, like dwarf mountain thing. Cause I think that we've got like the size changing. We have a size changing device in the hello. Oh, it's a friend. A friend, everyone. Oh, I love him. Um, sorry. Again, very easily distracted. A zap bug. True. Uh, I need mangrove. I like the way that mangrove looks. I like that it's red. Um, I am excited about the cherry blossom wood. Um, hi. So another thing that I would like to mention, I'm not like a good or professional builder by any means in Minecraft. I just, I build what looks cool and good to me and then hope for the best. I think I can, uh, they've got paper lanterns in, cause I had one in my inventory. Oh, where are they? They look so cool. Here we go. So they've got these paper lanterns. How do I give it to me? I'm still learning how to use mods. Okay, don't, don't mind me. I am, I am not smart. <laughs> um, let's see. Can I search in here? I can. All right. This will give me what I need. I need to start searching it as paper lantern because too many things come up. Look at those little jack-o'-lanterns. Should I build a Halloween house? Not on this like save specifically, but perhaps I will build a little, little thing. That's nice. I think I want to make this wider actually. So I'm going to stretch it out just a smidge. I don't have the, oh, did I clip out for a moment? I'm sorry. Uh, this game likes to be silly goofy for me. All right. It's an andesite wall. 
andesite wall not polished just normal okay I'm going to expand this by maybe one or two blocks over Let's see so here to maybe maybe just one just a one little stretch and then one two three four so that it's five tall one hi two three four cool and then elongate yay <laughs> elongate that's much better i like that a lot more i feel like things in odd numbers always look much nicer um i'll figure out what to do with this i need to um i need the daytime i'm going to turn the daylight cycle off again so that i can just have full light while i build um I need to build some homes and if I'm being completely honest I don't know how to build I I use tutorials on all of my almost all of my builds some things I can build from brain bliss a peaceful life experience ooh I'll have to look at that one reverse ethereal glass only solid to players, not solid to players, emits light, not solid to entities. What? Hold on. I want to look at this for because it says it says ghost. <gasps> you can walk through. Ah. Hello. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to put you in a thing really quick. I'm I'm going to put you in in a small prison. I just I really don't want you running around while I'm trying to build. You will get in my way and I will cry. I will get frustrated and I, I don't want to resort to violence. Get in there. Get in there. I don't want to... Violence is happening. <laughs> you know Tom and Jerry? Jerry is here. Have you guys heard that story about the... He was a, a comedian whose language... His first language was not English. And so he, um, when he was at a hotel and he saw a rat, he had to call the front desk and he didn't know how to say to them, like, Hey, there's a rat in my hotel room. He, he said, um, you know, Tom and Jerry, Jerry is here. I'm giving him, it's fine. It's just a funny little cage until he despawns. Um, I'll give him a roof in case it rains and some like some other fun stuff. He can chill. We're fine. Uh, musketeer. It removes the nether and the end. But for why? Why would you want to remove the nether and the end? I, I personally enjoy the nether and the end. That's one of my favorite things. Actually, I have a bigger uh, affinity towards... To, just to change up the gameplay. Fair enough. I have a thing with... Um, like Minecraft dimensions. Um, I very recently got to experience um, the Twilight Forest mod, which was very cool and good to make the mid game into the end game. I see. I don't know. I enjoy things. I like to just kind of have fun and be silly. Um, and regular Minecraft, I can do a lot of things. Just makes a whole bunch of tweaks. I like that. Um, I will probably later turn this into something. Like, I saw how to make, like, a... It buffs Minecraft and horses. Twilight Forest is great. But the Aether will always be my favorite. I I don't think that this, this mod pack comes with the Aether. Unless I'm wrong and I'm a liar. Yeah, no, these are uh, Aethermancer things. So, unfortunately, I don't have access to the Aether mod at this moment. I'm still holding out just a little bit. I'm still holding out for them to um, just make it a part of the base game. Mm. Because the guy who made the mod works for Mojang, and I think that that's cool. 
Um, so that's that's one of the biggest like anything is possible like type stories. Also, you don't get to see your coordinates. That would bug me. I I like knowing where things are and what I'm doing. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. all right, I'm going to start digging out some paths because if there's one thing I know is that I want to have a, a path thing. This is going to be like the center of my little town. I say little, it's very big. I may have bitten off more than I can chew and that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, let's see, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five in, one, two, three, four, five. And I've very conveniently placed a lily pad there to mark that. I did not do that on purpose. I just, I'm glad that my brain works in a way. Okay, so then there's that one. And then from, okay, so like from the frog's nose. Wow, I did it here too. I, past ghost is uh, really coming in clutch today. I haven't played Minecraft in several months. The last time that I played Minecraft, I started building this and I haven't played in so long that I've completely forgotten all of my plans. I had a, what's it called? I had a, oh, what is it? I had a playlist of videos that I was going to build off of. But now, because I have to share my entire screen to do my streaming, um, I can't put those videos on. I guess I could have it playing on my phone, but I need that to look at what chat's doing in case somebody starts being a goofball. Remember... I don't know who all was there, but during my Pride Month streams, somebody popped in and started being like a troll that was like, you know, you, you're you only a valid gay person if you're not white and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, that's cool. And I, I had to just be like, I am not white. I am white passing, if that's like what you want to call it. I look white, but I'm... I'm mixed, personally. Um, I feel like I say that all the time, and it gets annoying, but um, I don't know. Sometimes I think like I should just like not talk about it, because it makes me sound stupid and invalid, but that's just me. I don't know. I have a lot of like imposter syndrome when it comes to a lot of parts of my identity. Uh, like, lately, I've been presenting very, like, feminine when I go out places. And usually around this time of year, I start to feel very much more masculine. And so I've been, like, in my head, I'm like, am I actually, like, non-binary? Is my gender actually valid just because I feel this way? And the answer is yes, I am just silly and goofy and can't help myself from... Here's the thing, being a girl is cool. I like to look pretty, I like to feel pretty, and I can do that as a boy too, don't get me wrong. Mm. I just, I don't know, I think I think it's funny to invalidate myself. Not, not actually, I that's sarcasm or something hyperbole I don't I don't know I'm a bit scatterbrained and I got very uh, I got a little too into my brain for a moment there they I love that you're just still going on about the aether it I guess it wouldn't make sense in vanilla minecraft it's just I I don't know I, that's a very, like, interesting thing to say, like, oh, this thing is, like, vanilla Minecraft, uh, like, 
what is it, vanilla Minecraft, um, adjacent, not even adjacent, but just like, you know, it looks like this, I guess. I don't know. I've never thought about it. Not really. Um, do I, hold on one moment. Do I have a mod in chat at this very moment? I should. Let's see. I should have a mod in chat. They have volunteers. Thank you, dear. Um, I thought I had made... I don't know if Fennec is still here. Fennec, if you're here, please show yourself. Um, I'm trying to find a thing. If Fennec is not here, I will appoint... I've been meaning to promote Craze and Veya to mods anyways, because they've been very, like... I don't know. They're the ones who often uh, are in anyways. So... I'm gonna just chill out here for a moment. I'm gonna see if Fennec shows his silly little lizard face. He probably won't. While I wait, I am I am actively looking for the tutorials that I usually follow for um Vea is here for me. Alright, let's see. How now how do I make somebody a mod slash mod Aha Yes Mod It's Vea me. Okay. Vea you should have mod privileges now and then also craze so you two should have mod privileges now keep keep my chat safe this is your this is your destiny moderator moment all right so now that we have that i'm going to officially start building because i need I need to fill this place in. It's very barren right now. Um, let's see. I had some tutorials I liked. What have I done with them? Um, aha. Okay. Hooray. Let's do... Oh, it's a Tori gate. That's what it's called, I remember now. Alright. So, let me see. I think right next to the gate, I want to put in some planters. So I'm going to grab some grass. This grass. I'm going to grab some mangrove trapdoors um, this person's using a barrel um, this kind barrel right is that a barrel or is it a composter oh no it's a composter my bad um, composter and then some bamboo which I think is a miscellaneous no Where's bamboo? There's bamboo. They put bamboo here. Um, I need the mangrove fences. I'm gonna use andesite wall again. I'm gonna use a campfire. Hello? Campfire. There we go. Um, let's see. Mangrove slabs. Uh, lanterns. 
I may opt for the paper lanterns again because I like the way that they look better. Uh, where are they? These ones. Righto. Alright, I think that should be all I need. Oh wait, I forgot stairs. need mangrove stairs. Uh, I'll put this here. Actually, hold on. Because I like to have all of my items like in one spot. I'm going to put these here. And I'm going to... Bing bong, bing bong. And then I needed the lanterns, that's right. I'm a little elf right now, I forgot that that's what my skin was for a moment. Paper lantern. Woof. Cool. Alrighty. I can go back to this. I'm following a silly little tutorial. Don't mind me. Alright. So I... Yee. I need to actually get these things out of my inventory. Um, let's see. So we'll start from like... I like to do things in like threes, fives, or uh, sevens. So one, two, three, four, five. I think five would be better. Um, one, two, three. And then go one, two, three, close these up, and then come around, do it on the other side. One, two, three, close, close, close. And then I need these on either side. Um, this thing. Mangrove stairs here. And on the other side as well. Cool. And then start placing walls. One, two, three, four. And some fences. One, two, one, two. See one, two. I meant to go. Get up there. One, two, one, two. And then I think it's no. Then I grab this. This is so very cool and relaxing and good. I'm going to take a pause right here and one, two, three, four from the road five. Okay. Oh, well, no, one, two, three, four, place five. Okay. So one, two, three, four, place five, two, three, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to D, 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 D. Nope. Wrong spot. Ba, ba, ba. Um. Let me. Ah! Who, who else is excited for October? Because I know. I know some of us have been waiting for the month to be over more than others. It's me. I've been waiting for my this month to be over. Um, in part because I like I like Halloween. And um, Halloween is next month. Halloween is tomorrow. Um, I say in a silly, silly, goofy way. Not actually tomorrow. Although I wish. Um... It would be nice if Halloween was tomorrow. I think that I would have a much better time with life. Actually, no, I wouldn't because I wouldn't have my my costumes ready. I oh, so that was the other thing I was saying is that I'm going to see the Rocky Horror Picture Show on the 28th. Oh my 
tummy's growling. I'm so sorry, my tummy's growling. Um, I have not eaten in a little bit, so I need to find myself something to eat before I find myself getting sick. Um, I don't know if anybody else has that issue where if you don't eat for a little bit, your stomach hurts and then you just get nauseous from not eating. Um, it's something that happens to my mom as well. So we try to be good and remember to eat. I did that wrong. Ha ha. Okay, so here and here. And this is where we use the campfire. And you just... Uh, how do I... No. No! How do you... How do you take out the fire? Nope. Water! Uh, this is my last resort. The fact that this doesn't catch on fire already is so funny to me. Okay, so do this. Ah! Smoke. Hello? Please go. I'm ruining things. This has devolved into chaos. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh. Help. <laughs> I'm not good at this game. I don't know what I'm doing. Pick up the water. There. My brain had a, a moment. All right, we're fine. Um, you are too tall. Um, no, so I'm gonna. Hi, I'm not doing good today, everyone. Um, I'm gonna go see Rocky Horror Picture Show. I, as cringe as it may be, I do have plans to go see like. Five Nights at Freddy's movie and I might not dress up for that I might just wear a shirt that's like oh my gosh I'm so sorry if any of you can hear my stomach going right now I I will go have a food in a moment um but for right now it can hush and leave me alone I was about to say, I don't have the day and light cycle on. Why is it getting dark? Um, yay. I got little planters. Look at that. It's so cool. Oh, who's at the door? <gasps> the mail is here. Oh my gosh, maybe my paycheck is in. It is my paycheck! Hooray! My mother just texted me. Shout out to Ghost Mom for... I may take that to the bank and just have them give me cash and then I'll... You know, because I, I have friends that I owe money to and I also owe my parents money because I had to borrow money from them during these trying times. Um, I'm going to take the lanterns and let's see. This tutorial makes it look like you don't want your bamboo to get too tall, but honestly it's fine. Looky there. They're so cute! And they just kind of bring a little zest to the to the build all right and then it says you can put some little things on the sides just to kind of like enclose it I guess oh that's so fun I love that I'm excited about Minecraft. Only only in this society can I truly be this way. Hold on. There we go. And I like that it's kind of open as well. 
I think I can put these on the like on the back as well. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that my paycheck is in. I was getting nervous because I, um, I've been very social lately. And so I like, I go out with my friends a lot and I was telling one of them, I'm like, yes, I can like, I will be able to pay you back literally tomorrow. Tomorrow was yesterday. I was like, I can literally pay you back tomorrow. My check will come in. I have direct deposit all set up. Um, so, uh, that did not happen. And I panicked because, um, one, I don't like breaking promises. Two, I really don't like when I don't follow through with, um, especially when it comes to like monetary things. If I tell somebody like, Hey, I know I owe you money. Like I'm going to get them that money. Just it, it's going to happen. And so the fact that it took me even a day longer just makes me feel bad. All right. There's my little planter plant planterns. I guess, yeah, plan turns because the lantern. Do these light up? Uh, oh, I, I guess I could keep this and then just. Uh, midnight night. I guess they do. Yeah, they. Okay, yeah, they do light up a little bit. That's so fun. Uh, do this again. All right. So there's little planters. Cute. All right. So the next thing, what is this? Oh, it's another type of planter in the tutorial that I'm watching. Um, okay. So this one is some little benches to like sit at. I'm going to put the benches over here in front of, I also just realized that he won't despawn because I have him trapped here. So I'm going to release him and his llamas. Apologies, my friend, you may live to slay another day. Um, that needs to be in a, in a, like a souls, like souls born esque game where you're like f constantly fighting the imminent uh, danger of death to occur and so you're just like your little pop-up thing says you live to slay another day Do you have something in your stream software bound to your inventory key? Your game keeps disappearing. I shouldn't. Um, also, yes, I could not see chat because I was looking at a tutorial. That was bad on my part. I'm, I'm going to figure out either getting another monitor or something. If it wouldn't give anybody, like issues, I would just switch back and forth between the windows and be like, here's this and here's what I'm building next to it. But I don't like to do that. Um, let's see. Have you seen Fiona and Cake? I have not. I need to watch Fiona and Cake very badly. Um, so... Um, I do apologize that my stream keeps disappearing, though. That's not fun for anybody. Um, I will recheck my keybinds and just make sure that um, nothing is happening. Actually, hold on. Let me see. Uh, controls, keybinds. Whoa. That's not good. Um...
Okay, open close inventory is I now. Done, done, done. Back to game. And it's not gonna work because there's apparently a, a, nope, go back. Ah, all right, uh, show conflicts. Let's see, jump. What else does it do? Oh, construction mode in dank storage. Uh, let's see, open, close inventory. I don't know. Uh, oh, nope, that's a thing. Uh, inventory. N? Nope. About V. Oh my gosh. T? Nope. Y? Oh my gosh. All right, well, E's the only one. We will figure this out. I will I will do some investigating. The game is currently not visible. This is going great. Oops, wrong window. I, okay, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna mess around with that a little bit later. I do apologize everybody for that happening. Um, Oh, the game is visible again. <laughs> I'm up here now. I'm on the ground again. Um, ooh, that's another thing. I want to explore the welcome home. The game seems to disappear every time you're in menus. Interesting. I will... I will look into that. Things might need to be updated. I'm not sure. Um, I've been meaning to update my... Um, my NVIDIA thing, um, just, there's, there's a lot of things that I need to update and optimize and do all kinds of other stuff with. Um, while I am here, um, I did recently get my hands on Baldur's Gate 3, which is exciting. Um, I'm going to figure out how to keep that game as family friendly as possible and we're gonna go on a little adventure. I don't know what I'm gonna play as for Twitch. I know in in my personal playthroughs I have one that I'm doing with Fennec and then there's one that I'm doing on my own. The game that I'm playing with Fennec I'm playing a tiefling bard because my uncle who introduced me to D&D &D when I was very young. Um, he has typecasted me as a tiefling bard type. So now I just, I have to be that, obviously. Um, but he is playing a half-drow warlock in Baldur's Gate, and so I made, uh, I made my second character, who is my, like, solo playing character. I made her a uh, um, half-drow warlock as well. I think I can maybe show my characters. I have to not show Fennec's character because um, uh, Fennec is playing as a dragonborn barbarian who runs around with no clothes. Um, because it gives him an advantage, I guess. I don't know about all that, but that's what he says, and so I'm going to trust him. I, it, I don't trust him at all, in all honesty. Um, no, I do. That's not true. He's taught me very well about the, the Baldur's Gate game. Um, so let me... We've been playing a tiefling warlock who runs around with no clothes. Wow. Um, Kavari wears clothes. Kavari is my um, tiefling. So I have Kavari, who is my tiefling, and I have Adriel, who is my half-drow. And I love both of them very dearly. They're my, they're my little babies. So I want to I wanna show off these characters really quickly before I hop off and 
go do more adventuring for the day, so, um, let's see, Baldur's Gate 3, <laughs> this is a mature rated video game that may not be suitable for some viewers, guess what, um, I'm not gonna show anything bad, cause I'm a family friendly little guy, um, please open Baldur's Gate, please give me give me back my MTV. It's fine. We're, we're good. We're hanging out. Okay, it might not want to come up right now because my uh, my computer is being silly goofy. I... Here's what I'll do. I will take screenshots of my characters and I will put them on my Twitter and I will put them in my Discord server. Um, and that way everybody can revel in the majesty that is my very mediocre character creation. Um, but I, I'm very proud of the way that my current two characters look. I do want to play um, a gnome. I'm a big fan of gnomes. My Shadowrun character that I played for a very long time was a gnome. Um, and I played Shadowrun the tabletop game, not the video game. Um, I actually didn't know that there was a video game until a couple years ago. I'm going to switch this back over to just chatting. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Um... But yeah, it's just been like, it's a cool little mini stream, little, uh, little easy vibes kind of day. I wanted to get this stream out of the way so that I wouldn't, um, forget again. Cause I know that I did forget last week to stream. Um, I was out partying a lot. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, appreciating my stream. Um, I appreciate all of you very much. Thank you to everybody who has followed um, in the last couple of days. You guys are so, so cool. Um, one of them, uh, I don't know if anyone else can see the names of who has followed me recently, but I, I can. I have a, like a list of people who have followed me. Um, and so the most recent have been Retro Law, who is a good friend of mine. Um, I'm probably saying this wrong, but Zide, Zide Cypher, maybe? Um, shout out to Zide Cypher. That's another uh, friend of mine who I've been hanging out with a lot in person. He's a friend of mine's roommate. Um, shout out to Dietz, uh, who I'm not going to... I'm not going to give you the power of saying your actual name because that's funny to me. And then uh, f official FNAF Plus show... <laughs> Thanks for being here. I don't I don't know what you all expect from me, but it's not their name is Donuts. It, okay, yeah. Uh yeah, if you're if you're the person who followed me with what looks like nuts in your name, um your nickname is now Donuts and unless you give me a different name to call you, that is what you're called from here on out. Um but anyways, I have a paycheck to go cash in and also some other things I have to do. I'm gonna go help my parents uh, clean up the house because um, it's been a tough week. A lot of us have not been home. Um, so I'm going to go do that. And then there will or will not possibly be a... Um, there may or may not possibly be a Jackbox, um, Jackbox IRL stream, maybe not even stream, Jackbox IRL recording going up on my YouTube later. We'll see how it goes. I will decide how I'm feeling later, um, and how my friends are feeling later. So, but yeah, thank you all for being here. I appreciate you all so very much, and I will see you all very soon. Make you that, 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 that words. Um, 
<laughs> make sure you stay hydrated and I appreciate you all. Have a good one. And until next time, bye-bye.